It's hard to keep popsicles in this house with the men that I live with. I think I might have to like start hiding them in my garden freezer. Hey guys, I'm Stacy from Stacy Spaces. I am a DIY home and garden blogger, mom of three, wife to one, and I live in the suburbs of Atlanta, and this is my fridge. What does your fridge say about you? I think my fridge says that I am organized, a little bit of fun, spicy, and I like to eat. The item in my fridge that I'm most crazy and excited about right now are blackberries. I usually get my blackberries from Costco because I need to chop in bulk because these little kids eat a lot and the big kid, he eats a lot too. But I'm also growing a blackberry plant in my garden so hopefully that will help me out with my grocery costs down the line. Well, if you know a DIYer, it won't surprise you but if you don't do a lot of DIY projects, it might surprise you. And I keep my paint brushes that are currently being used for a project um, stored in the refrigerator, either in foil paper or a Ziploc bag. That just helps to keep the moisture locked in so that it don't dry out and you don't have to clean them in between uses if you're using the same color. I use these to put some swatches on my cabinets because we're about to hopefully paint our kitchen cabinets and make it a little bit brighter in here. So if you follow me on Instagram, that might be an upcoming project later on this year. So I have three little boys. They are ages seven, five, and three, two years apart nice little stair steps i love it they all have their own favorite snacks they don't usually like the same thing my oldest one likes fruits he loves to eat apples my middle son loves tangerines so i always try to keep a tangerine or two in the refrigerator and my baby loves bananas so we always have some bananas on the counter for him my husband is definitely more of a savory guy but he does have a sweet tooth especially for chocolate he loves these little chocolate bars that you get at Ikea. I don't like plain chocolate, but he does. Yeah, okay. I think my guilty pleasure snack would have to definitely be, if I can get it out, sugar cookies. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but I love a good sugar cookie. I love to make these and allow the kids to decorate them on top or whatever, although I think this one needs to be tossed. Well, I like to think that I'm a very gracious mother and wife and that I don't have many pet peeves. They will probably disagree, but who cares? They're not here. I hate it when they put something back that only has a little bit left. Case in point, this syrup. There's barely anything in this container. So when they come in here all excited to make some chocolate milk, they're gonna be mad when only one brother can have some or they're sharing one glass of chocolate milk. So I don't have anything currently in my fridge from the garden because it is early spring, but I do have some like greens outside. I typically pick those fresh. Right now in the garden, I have some collard greens. That's like one of my favorite things. I have some broccoli growing, cauliflower, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and peppers. And then I also have some strawberries and blueberries as well. Oh, and some, and some pears, I forgot about that. I have a couple of fruit trees, they're dwarf fruit trees, so they won't get really big, but for the first year, my pear tree is starting to produce fruit, and I'm so excited to get that fruit. I do have some herbs growing in the greenhouse. I haven't pulled them out to plant yet, but I have some Thai basil. That's actually the one that I'm most excited about. I love the way the Thai basil leaves just look and I love how Thai basil tastes with some like fried rice. But because this is my first time really growing Thai basil, what are your favorite ways to use it? Let us know in the comments below. The item that I probably buy the most in my fridge would have to be the almond milk. I do buy these in bulk at Costco, so I get three at a time. Sometimes I buy six at a time because they love to drink milk. They don't even eat just one bowl of cereal. They eat like three bowls of cereal. I'm like, y'all are seven, five, and three. Where are you putting it? The only thing that's expired are these cookies, but they expired like a month ago. So they're not that old. It's not that bad. Although some things are probably like running out. Thankfully, like I said, I shop at Costco. So I probably have like five of these in my pantry ready to go. I don't think there's anything I have in here that's super embarrassing. I do like to keep ranch dressing containers and blue cheese dressing and Chick-fil-A sauces available. Sometimes, you know, you might order and they don't give you your sauce. So I always have a little secret stash in my fridge. And my lovely mother-in-law recently gave us an entire 
container of Chick-fil-A sauce. Our family is covered for Chick-fil-A sauce. I just glanced over and there is one thing in here that I never, never use. I don't even, I think that's in here because it makes me feel like a healthy person or like a good mom or something like that. But that is this Omega-3 fish oil. This probably is expired now that I'm thinking about it, if I could find the date. It was a good idea. It made me feel healthy at the time, but we don't use it. So I do have containers for the eggs. I like these because they allow you to stack them on top without fear of like crushing or breaking eggs. We put our cheeses and cheese type things in here. And then I have a little container here obviously to hold my sauces and the syrup because my sauces are important. We've already discussed that. I keep um, bread and bread type products here. So my croutons for my Caesar salads are also here. Here is where I keep my leftovers. <laughs> have to keep those nice and secure over there. So my freezer is usually pretty packed because kids, they always need to eat and I wanna make sure that I have options. Um, one thing that I always have would be a bag of mixed peppers and onions because I don't like cutting onions. I'm one of those people who probably would need some like onion goggles or something because I cry every single time. Been doing that since I was a child. My mom thinks it's hilarious. Because I have a bunch of boys, we always have ice packs because they're always banging their head on something or getting hurt. We always have some like quick, ready to go meals. Pot stickers, I usually, I put these on the, on the kids' lunch board as well. They love when I make pot stickers. And then on mornings where I don't feel like making breakfast, waffles. I think my fridge does not smell like anything, which kind of bothers me. I feel like it should have a smell, but I want it to smell pleasant. And I have like this baking soda in here, and I don't even know that this really works. I just do it because my grandma and my mom do it, but I don't really know if it really helps to eliminate odor. So maybe it does because I don't smell anything good or bad. I would prefer that it smelled like lavender <laughs> or something like that. My favorite sauces in here would have to probably be, I love a good marinade. Um, and so we're getting to grilling season, so marinades are very important. I need to stock up on more so my husband can have some options. You also have to always have some barbecue sauce on hand. Sweet Baby Ray's is our go-to down here for some reason. Now, of course, this alone does not make up your barbecue sauce. You have to add some other ingredients in it but it's a good base for your sauce. We always have peanut butter. That's not really a sauce, but the kids love peanut butter. Did you clean it all before we showed up to film today? Of course I cleaned it before you guys showed up to film. I definitely took out every shelf and every drawer and cleaned it before you guys showed up. There's no way I was gonna let you guys see how it looked before. I didn't hide anything, I promise. But I did think about it though. If I, if I were to have found something gross or something like that, I probably would have put it somewhere in the garage before you guys showed up. I had a plan. These are my blackberries, my favorite go-to snack right now. I could probably eat this entire thing today, but because I am modest and I like to share with my family, I can eat at least 10 to 20 of these a day, easy. Anything else? Thank you guys so much for checking out my fridge tour. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe at The Spruce Eats.